developed, created, and owned by James Pro Artistry Productions. Hi, perceptive readers. This is a James Pro Artistry Productions consultant moment. I want you to know that uh, I will be putting the weekend page up <laughs> uh, here uh, soon. Okay. And uh, also, uh, along with that weekend page, I'm hoping um, by Friday evening to have um, some of the specials uh, podcasts uh, reposted, you see, uh, from my other network, uh, the Perceptive Reader SoundCloud that, you know, I am discontinuing using <laughs> here as soon as I can still <laughs> You know, it's still hundreds of podcasts to go. Um, so what I'm doing is still focusing on uh, some topics that have already been coming up during this week. Notice what season we are in, and it is the season of the memorial season, you know, the remembrance of Jesus' death and what he done, uh, what he did for all of us, for all mankind. For all women kind, you see. And uh, the thing about that is that ransom sacrifice, which covers, you see, our sin covers what Adam and Eve uh, lost. Remember, they lost that wonderful privilege and gift and right, if you will, as perfect human beings to live forever on a paradise earth. To live forever on a paradise earth. And so this time frame that we're in right now, you know, uh, waiting for uh, God, you know, his day to uh, clear up everything, clean up everything. And also you've heard of even Armageddon, uh, God's day or God's war uh, that will come up against the ones who don't believe in him and don't want to believe in him or know him, mm -hmm. which uh, the Bible says are a lot of people. And so the difference of who, you know, he will view as his friends and view as ones with the desire, the meekness to get to know him are already you know, uh, making adjustments to their lives, uh, trying to practice everything uh, that they're learning about God, who is love. What is love really exactly? You see, there's a textbook way of learning about love, which is, you know, uh, give and take, reciprocal empathy and things of that nature. But I don't want to say, but however, all the same, what Jesus showed us when he was on the earth is the spirit of love is the spirit. And that love is on such an elevated level that sometimes even when humans think of things would be in such a logical way of thinking this has to be this way or that has to be that way, or this is the rule here or the rule there. Jesus show with his spirit of love that is just isn't so, especially when it's in a harsh way. And remember, even Jesus said, mercy triumphs over judgment. Okay. So what does that mean? That means, again, a person can be justifiably wrong in doing something. Wrong in doing something. And yet, with the spirit of love and the, you know, sometimes people say, well, what are the circumstances? Yeah, okay, yeah. But yet, Jesus who reads the heart, Jehovah God who can see the heart and read the heart, we see examples right in God's word where he gave mercy and, and it was on such a level that you can be sure most likely no other human being on the face of that earth all that time would have stood up 
offered, given that mercy, whether it was some personal reasons or whether it was actually because of fear of standing up to the ones who was condemning. But Jesus, he wasn't afraid. He had the spirit of love. He showed the spirit of love. And so with that being said, we are learning these things. We're, 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 we're asking God in prayer to fully comprehend such things. And the reason, you know, why I mentioned that, because during this time of year, you know, persons talk about uh, uh, forgiveness and things of that nature. And the thing about it is, you see, if a person literally has to account for every type of uh, sin that they committed since being a child, like remember they said, your life flashed before your eyes or what have you, then you know what? We would start now already probably um, <laughs> uh, uh, spending the rest of our lives just in prayerful meditation all throughout the day asking for forgiveness, even though in a sense, uh, you know, in a balanced way, we do that every day, like at, at bedtime and things of that nature. But the whole th point is, in the state that we are in, you see, uh, we're just not measuring up even by just being alive because our body's not even working right. Um, our thoughts are not always the best. You see, and and that's the thing about it. At least we get to keep our thoughts to ourselves unless, <laughs> you know, we're in a sci-fi movie where they can read your thoughts. But the whole point is uh, nobody does, you know, or live this life in this imperfect state without needing the ransom sacrifice. We need the ransom sacrifice. And the whole point is, we ask for forgiveness from God as the final, you see, as the final say, a final judge. And I'm stating this uh, again for a reason, because sometimes, uh, as I mentioned before, see, people got different faiths. People got different ways of uh, believing, you see, and, and, it's, and they're not all involved with the Holy Bible. So there will be some man-made thoughts and traditions saying this is the way something has to be done in this way or that way. And really, uh, according to the Holy Bible, it's not as complicated as that. It's not supposed to be as elaborated as that. It's not supposed to be drawn out as that. It actually is supposed to be you see, very straightforward. No rules, no games and things of that nature. And so what that does is it serves to get to the root of the problem. You see, at times, instead of causing more problems by a lot of man-made thoughts, traditions, uh, methods and laws of that nature. See, and that's what has happened. And that's what uh, persons need to realize sometimes that, you know, you learn what the spirit of love is from Jesus. And you may encounter someone who does not really uh, understand uh, the spirit of love from Jesus. And they may tell you a certain way that you must treat a human being where according to your teachings, you, you know, that you learn from Jesus, the spirit of love, you may come to the conclusion that, you know, no, this is just straight up barbaric to do something like this to anybody. You see, you see, yet, according to their reasoning, uh, without the spirit of love, they would do that all day. So the point is, which type of view and teaching would you accept or take when it comes to to another human being. See, that that's the thought. Remember, Jesus taught us and showed us the spirit of love. And as you read those accounts, you can ask yourself in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John,
if you would have came to the same type of conclusion when he was dealing with different persons, once he's healed, once he spent time with, once he was constantly showing forgiveness for and things of that nature, uh, would you have been of the same frame of mind? Are you of the same frame of mind now? These are just some thoughts during this season. Have a very wonderful day, Perceptive Readers. Take care of yourself. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality.